for those players who do get selected tomorrow. It is the beginning of a dream career. But that career can also come with a devastating and complicating downside. Rebecca Lopez reports. George Andre scooped the ball off the slick ground and rumbled into the end zone. George Andre was part of the legendary Cowboys doomsday defense. He began to resemble the 11 men called the doomsday defense. He was a five-time pro bowler and a Super Bowl champion. But these days... Then they automatically call, after 40 seconds, they call 911. The once powerful defensive end sits quietly at home, rarely leaving the house and unable to care for himself. He requires help to live. He requires help for daily tasks. He has lost interest in hobbies, life. He's been depressed. His family says he's been this way for years and has been diagnosed with dementia by four different doctors who believe it's related to the head blows he received while playing with the Cowboys from 62 to 72. Andres was part of a lawsuit filed by thousands of retired players against the NFL, <laughs> claiming the league knew that head blows could lead to chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, a degenerative brain disease. The NFL settled the suit for $765 million. I thought it was a victory when it was, you know, done. That was five years ago. Players and their families expecting money for bills are instead getting letters from the NFL. Said not only does your father not qualify for this level of dementia, he doesn't qualify for any neurocognitive damage whatsoever. Andre was eligible under the settlement for $158,000. His family says they need that to care for his medical needs. It's not greedy football players. It's a corporation who exposed their employees to something that would call, ultimately cause their death. The NFL has hired a company to process all the claims and is not directly involved in the processing. The leaks say the dementia claims are moving slower because they want to weed out fraudulent claims. But for Brooks and her once dynamic father, they fear the process and the pain will just leave them behind, wondering if they sacrifice their future well-being for the game. You, you can't enjoy time with your loved one that you have left because you're fighting a corporation but it's the right thing to do so you have to do it you have a moral obligation to do it Rebecca Lopez Channel 8 News Rebecca did reach out to the NFL for an update so far there has been no response